Orale, que onda mi gente? Que pasa con la raza? Thank you guys for tuning in to Sneaker Vision TV. What is cracking YouTube? I'm going to go over two hot buys, meaning two items that are being purchased like crazy right now. This is the Mitchell and Ness uh, Swingman jersey and the Mitchell and Ness Authentic jersey. This is speaking in terms of the NBA jerseys. So the jerseys are probably one of the most bought pieces on the market right now. That and then of course the Nike ones, which are straight basura, straight trash, man. I, I just, I, I really can't uh, see myself messing with Nike um, as far as their jerseys go. They had issues about two years ago with uh, players' jerseys getting ripped on the court. Uh, people that bought their jerseys from stores had issues when they got home with them. And they just seem like very poor quality. And the sad part about that, you guys, is, is that Nike has the contracts with all three major sports. They have the jersey contract for the MLB. They have the jersey contract for the NFL. And they have the jersey contract for the NBA. BA. And that's how Nike works. That's their machine. That is a beast. That is a monster that has not slowed down at all. And unfortunately, their products suck. You know what? And that's just the honest truth. In my opinion, remember, this is my opinion. This is what I've experienced and my outlook on those products. So I don't know if I own any new Nike jerseys in any of my collection. I don't. The only Nikes I have are from the 2000s when the Nike and the Rewind era was going down. Early 2000s, Nike had like a couple year contract and they did retro throwbacks. And I do own some uh, of those vintage Nike jerseys, which aren't the best quality. They're uh, the lower end replica Nikes. They're not the authentic like on-court game-worn Nikes, which are still worth quite a bit. So um, that's about all I have to say about Nike. Now moving forward with Mitchell and S, I think these are much more popular. I think there's a lot more out there on the market as far as availability to buy. And they're overall mediocre products as far as quality, price point, you know, for the Authentics is a little bit higher than I'd like to see just based on materials and quality and quality control. But let's go ahead and get into this. I got two of them behind me. so. Guess which one's a swingman, guess which one's an authentic. I got Sacramento Kings, J. Will, 2000-2001. I got the Chicago Bulls, 97-98. Rodman, the worm. And white chocolate. White chocolate, homie. This dude got down on the court. Um, two of my favorite players right here, by the way. So... The J. Will is a swingman. The Rodman is an authentic. So let's get off by country. Let's start by country of origin. Swingmans are made in China. Authentics, actually, this has thrown me off. <laughs> Here I am, unprepared. This authentic is made in China as well. I think about 70% of the authentics though are now, I bought this about five years ago, are now made in Vietnam. So the Authentics are mostly made in Vietnam. The Swingmans are mostly made in China, if that makes a difference to you guys. Just information to put out there. Now the Swingmans are a lot lighter than the Authentics. This is much lighter, and it's not due to the material of the polyester or the jersey mesh itself. It's due to the embroidery due to the applique. Swingmans come with a heat pressed, I'm sorry, it, Swingmans come with an applique that is stitched. So around the edges, this is stitched. One layer of stitching around each letter or each number. And now, if you can see, the lettering and numbering is made to look like it's a triple stitch. The white, the purple, and the silver. This is all 
an applique. This is one layer, this is one patch, one applique logo that is stitched just around the edge, okay? So you don't have multiple layers of stitching on the Swingman's. Obviously, it's a $130 price point. You can find them cheaper on some sites. Secondly, you come down to the jock tag. This is a light piece of fabric, a very cheap piece of like polyester. And it says Hardwood Classic Swingman down there on that jock tag, you guys. It does have the year with the player's name. This is a very light, like see how this just, this just folds up, you know, like a little napkin. <laughs> So that's the swingman front, swingman back, same thing. There's only one layer of applique. They put that one number, that one letter, and they just stitch around the edges, okay? So these cheap bendable applique letters and numbers make the jersey very light. So that's where the weight difference comes in. I'll show you guys the tag. Mitchell and Ness Swingman Collection Large made in China and then it does have the care instructions on the guts of the jersey So there's the care instructions not all of them come with this uh, QC code and the date Some Mitchell and Ness's do not have this so just because yours doesn't have this Mitchell and Ness tag with QC code uh, QR code doesn't mean it's not real. A lot of them don't have this and they just have the care instruction, okay? So that is the Swingman. Of course, the NBA logo is embroidered. That's about the only thing they did as far as quality on these is embroider a nice thick NBA logo. Um, you know, and this will hold up for a couple of years, but if you wear this regularly and you wash it, you know, you don't, you're not supposed to wash these in the washer, but if you wash them regularly, they will deteriorate very fast. Bow. the worm green hair rodman so if, just to jump let's get off you have thick embroidery on this patch look at the thickness of this patch nba finals 97 right 97 thick embroidered nba logo which is the same as that one actually tag mitchell and s philadelphia usa 44, which is your number, size number, with a large, made in China. A lot of these will say made in Vietnam. The Kobe uh, Authentic that I just did a video on was made in Vietnam. Now let's get on to the letters. Here, you have thick, thick, heavy lettering embroidered on this particular piece. You have a, a white bottom layer. And then you have a black overlay layer that is stitched onto the white. So you have two layers of stitching. The 76ers jerseys, some of these jerseys have triple stitching, which is accurate to what they wore on the court. Again, here, the 91 is a huge patch. A white patch on the bottom and a black patch on top of that. So those patches give this jersey an overall weight that's heavier than the Swingman's. So when you hold them side by side, you can tell the difference. Okay, so now the bottom patch here, Hardwood Classics, Mitchell and S, is the same, you know, napkin-y type of material. Except you have a 44 large size tag down here. And on top of that, you have a thick piece of felt that's embroidered. Sorry, you guys, I'm moving this a lot. That's embroidered there, 97, 98, Dennis Rodman white with black stitching and that is embroidered and it's a thick piece of felt so that gives it more weight as well here you do have the care instructions on the inside polyester blah 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 but like i said see this one doesn't have that qr code and it just has the care instructions so don't don't go ahead and look at that for a real fake test because not all of them have the qr code back again two large heavy patches Rodman, double stitched, white underlay with a black overlay patch. So these are very quality made. And I, I'm going to say this. This was bought like five years ago, four years ago. And I'll tell you what, these patches, this 91 is a thick, thick, like see, it doesn't really fold in. It's a 
thick, heavy patch. The Kobe Bryant Authentic that just came in, I ordered off the NBA store, has such softer, like lower quality patches on it. And that one's made in Vietnam. This one's made in China. But I'm guessing that after Kobe passed, and Mitchell Ness could just be doing this in all their jerseys, is using lower quality patches. They they seem to be bending easier. They're not as thick and heavy as these. And maybe it's just the Bulls 97-98 is a different patch. And the authentic 96-97 Kobe Lakers is a different patch. But I don't think that's the case. I think Mitchell and S now, current production from like 2019, 2020, 2021, is using cheaper, less heavy patches. That authentic Kobe has... Way lower quality patches on it. They're actually even kind of creasing and like, just like not bubbling because your Mitchell Ness should not bubble. If you see a Mitchell Ness and this is bubbling, don't buy it. It's a fake, but it should not be bubbling. It's like more of like creasing in it, light wrinkles in the patch, very light wrinkles. And it's a dead stock, authentic Lakers. And so that tells me that they're using lower quality patches than they were in the past. And a lot of folks that are Mitchell and Ness heads from the OG days, from the USA runs, the USA made runs, will tell you that now. That some of these runs they they produce now are not accurate and they're a lot less quality than like 10, 15 years ago when they were made in the US. So that is the main difference on these authentics compared to the Swingmans. Um, glad you guys got a look at that. I know a lot of y'all are in the market for some of these pieces now. It is summertime cracking off, and we're going to be rocking these NBA jerseys heavily. So I hope y'all were able to get a closer look at the differences. Again, the main difference is that the applique is a light, thin, one single stitched patch. Not even a patch. It's more of like a fabric. These patches are not patches like you'd find in a real sports memorabilia store these are little fabric appliques these are real patches on the authentics they should be using real patches but take this in mind you buy a new jersey on mitchellns.com you buy a new jersey off the nba store or whatever chic you know jimmy jazz dr j's the new Mitchell S jerseys have real patches but they might be lighter they might be a little bit lower quality I'm not sure on that. I'm just guessing because of the Kobe authentic Lakers jersey that came in and comparing it to this five-year-old Bulls jersey. I'm just taking a guess. But either way, um, the authentic is made with heavier materials. Now, the jersey mesh quality is exactly the same. This is the same. The collars around the jersey is the same. It's only the patches and the applique that's different and of course your jock tag down low this is different as well so take that in mind um if you can afford a swingman but can't afford an authentic do what you need to do just pick the right swingman you guys don't be rocking some some whack ass you know like you know david robinson swingman <laughs> just kidding for all the homies in san antonio i'm messing with you guys um so that's the main difference. I hope this is a little bit of a, of a better look at what's cracking off with the Swingman and Authentic. Again, gracias for tuning in, you guys. I will be showing you guys more of my jerseys as we go forward. This is a basics on Swingmans versus Authentics. Bada bow, you can see I got my Cubbies C on 2016 World Series patch. Shy town stand up, baby. Um, and we'll be going through some other jerseys here that I come across and that I have in my collection to give you guys some, some in-depth looks. I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Stay blessed. Adios, mi gente. So here's the Swingman jock tag. You have a very light fabric used HWC Swingman. Down here on the jock tag on the authentics, it's a lot bigger. You do have your number size with your letter, medium, large, extra large, what have you. Same fabric for this. It's a larger logo though, the Hardwood Classic logo. And then again, you have the felt on the top. Stitching on the authentic, 
get an up close look here is double stitched with a very heavy patch at least on the older Mitchell Nesses again the Kobe that I just received has a very thin but decent lower end patch it is a patch that's double stitched on the Kobe just like this is double stitched but this patch is very heavy on this particular Rodman piece double stitched everything then I'll get a little close up there of that stitching Reminds me of the old Champion Authentics that are stitched like this. They kind of frayed along the edges after you used them a little bit. Gave you this look right there. I ain't hating on that. That looks nice, man. Okay, back to the Swingman. J. Will White Chocolate is an applique. So it looks like it's triple stitched. You have the silver, and then you have a purple stitching line, and then a white stitching line. And if you guys can see that, those are not stitches. That's just a um, design that they put on the, the applique to make it look like it's triple stitch. So, you know, they're going for, you know, uh, budget, you know, jerseys here. So this is a very fabric-y, bendable, cheap fabric. It's not a patch. I kept using the word patch, but these are actually not patches. These are not patches that you'd find sewn on by like a memorabilia or sports shop. This is an applique fabric that's stitched, very thin, very bendable, you know, very light like that so this you can't really you know you can bend it I guess but it's a thick patch so the whole patch moves when you bend it here you can just you know crease it wherever you want and that is the main difference you guys on these two jerseys this swingman is a lot lighter than this authentic based on these patches solely the patches give this much more weight probably a good man I'd say 12 ounces heavier than these swingmans so there you have it y'all thank you guys for tuning in again enjoy real it's quick to compare this authentic kobe to the authentic rodman you see how these are kind of not bubbling but just creasing as far as where the jersey is is bending and moving there's some like hills in here there's some ups and downs and so this patch on this Kobe is a lot thinner patch. Even the underlay white is tons thinner than this Rodman patch. There's none of that going on. And this is an old washed jersey from four years ago. So I think the patches they're using now are cheaper. Um, just wanted to show you guys that. So you can see the bub, not bubbling. It's like dips in, in hills from where the jersey's been moving around. And you can probably see it in the visual there. So that's unfortunate with the new Mitchell Nesses. Be aware of that, you guys. You know, get these, analyze them, and if you, it's not worth your money, take that take that shit back because we're paying good money for this. So I um, just want to let y'all know that. Peace out.